In this video, we'll be seeing seven different floor plans. All of them, except one, will be well under $2,000. And we will be seeing three different communities. So this first one is 400 square feet. I believe it was about $1,600. This is one of their renovated units. This property actually only offers studios, so that's pretty cool. It used to be a hotel at some point. Now you will see my son throughout the video, so don't mind him. This is not a full kitchen. As you can see, it has a refrigerator off to the sides, like a mid-size refrigerator. And then it has a small stove top, no oven, as you can see, but it does have nice views of the city. This one is a little bit smaller than the previous one, which is 350 square feet at about $1,700, which is a little bit more, but it's a smaller unit, which I'm not quite sure why that is. I love the marble countertops they have. I love the renovations that they did to these units. Now, if you notice, they do not have central air, they have AC units. So if that's something that you're not used to, it may be an adjustment for you. Now, if you clicked on this video, clearly you like watching apartment tours. So if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting on? I'm not quite sure, but go ahead, scroll down right now and click the subscribe button. That lets me know that you want to see more videos like this one. This is going to be the largest studio we see at 900 square feet. This is the only unit we're going to see that's above $2,000, but all of the other ones are less than $2,000. This one is actually pretty nice. I like how it's divided into different rooms, kind of, sort of. It's not just one big room, like it's sectioned off. This can be like your bedroom area and then the other part can be like your living room area this is a closet that right there used to be an elevator which it does not work anymore like i mentioned this used to be a hotel so yeah you have different sections of the apartment which is cool again nice views and it does have concrete flooring, which means you will not hear your neighbors above you or below you. But again, this is a penthouse, so you won't have anyone above you. Here are a few of their amenities. They do have a private conference room. Here is their clubhouse slash resident lounge. If you like watching content like this, I do want to let you know that I will be starting a membership club. So make sure you go down below and click the link so you can sign up for the wait list for the membership club. You will have access to voting on different apartments that I'm going to go see. You will get to submit apartment requests that you would like me to see. I will also have a private community of all of the members so we can all interact, talk about different things that has to do with moving, housing, different apartments, the core or anything that you would like to discuss. So make sure you click the link down below to be added to the waitlist for when the membership club opens up. And this one also does not have central AC. It has like an AC unit. Now, if you want to be away from the city a little bit, this would be perfect for you. This is in North Hollywood, if you're familiar with that area. So it's by like Burbank and Studio City. So pretty much in the valley. This is a renovated unit as well, all white with a black refrigerator. Nothing too special about the refrigerator. It's not stainless steel as you guys are used to seeing on my channel, but I do like the cabinets. They do have wood style flooring. 
if you notice the closets they have two of them one in the main space and then one in the bathroom it has frosted glass which i think that is very aesthetically pleasing Now, if you'll notice here in a moment, this apartment does have like a back door kind of. At first, I thought it was maybe like a patio, but no, it's just a back door to go out of your apartment. And then it leads out into one of their courtyards. Now we're on to their amenities. They do have a pool. They don't have many other amenities outside of that. And they do have a laundry room because, of course, they do not have a laundry, washer and dryer in unit. Here is the third property. This one is also pretty similar as it does not have washer and dryer in units. So they do have washers and dryers on each floor. The only difference between this one and the other ones is that they only have one washer and dryer on each floor. It's not like an entire room full of washers and dryers. This one also have like a little kitchenette where it's not a full kitchen. They have a mini refrigerator. They have a mini stove and oven. They do have a microwave. Pretty nice views of the city. This is actually a one bedroom. This is only, this is actually the only one bedroom we will be seeing. And I'm sorry, I was mistaken. This one is also over $2,000, but all of the other ones, so five out of seven of the units that I showed you guys is under $2,000. This one does have white appliances. I'm not a fan of white appliances personally, but to each his own. You have the double sinks and the dishwasher. Here's the hallway to the left is a closet. Pretty decent sized bathroom. And then across from the closet and the bathroom is the bedroom. Now this is like a solar, 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 I don't know how to say the word, but it's basically like a room in your house where there gets a lot of sunlight. So it's kind of like a balcony, I guess, but not really. And here is their courtyard area. And this is the laundry room.